domain forwarding is something technical that you need to do, especially if you have multiple domain names that you have purchased and want to make use of, but do not want to have a specific website on. Now, I'm going to show you a tutorial now and share my screen and show you how to do it. And I'm showing it using domain.com. But it's important to understand that your domain provider might look totally different. You might be using GoDaddy, Bluehost, HostGator, or any of these. So you'll be able to, in addition to seeing how I'm doing it in domain.com, you will be able to go to a run.link forward slash forwarding, and you'll be able to download a freebie where I'm going to list all the specific support documents to show you how to do the forwarding depending on what software you are using. And if you want me to record a video on your specific software, just leave a comment below with the name of the software and I'll be sure to record a tutorial on that as well. With that said, let me take you through the tutorial on how to forward a domain name specifically to an affiliate link. Hey, hey, it's Aran here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to do domain forwarding, which means a domain name that you have purchased can be forwarded to a specific link that is not the actual website using that domain name. Let me show you what I mean. So I have bought a domain name and this is called Podia Review. Now Podia is an all-in-one course platform and I am an affiliate and I wanted to just go to my affiliate link. Now this is important to understand that in some cases affiliate programs actually change their affiliate tracking. And what it means is that any affiliate links you may have posted in different places, whether it's your blog or on your website or on your YouTube channel, it's actually not going to work anymore. And you're gonna to have to go and figure out where the hell you posted that link. And that's going to be pretty much impossible. So when I share affiliate links, I have now gotten smarter being a more experienced affiliate marketer. And what I do is I use a pretty link that forwards directly to the affiliate link. That way, if the affiliate link ever changes, I can simply replace it with their pretty link and that way it I can control it and I only have to make the change one time and that's it. So in the case of Podia, if you go to eranbukai.com forward slash Podia, that URL automatically goes to the affiliate link of Podia. Now at the time of recording, they are using a specific affiliate marketplace to have their affiliate program managed by. Now that affiliate marketplace is called Impact, impact.com. And you can see here, this is my affiliate program of Podia. Now the actual link, I can grab it from somewhere around here. And um, you can see if I can create a create link, then I can click on this link and then I grab it, okay? Now this link might change because that happens. And for example, previously Podia was using another software to track their affiliate program, which was called Rewardful. And that's when I started promoting Podia and I was using the Rewardful link. Now what happened is once they changed, then the affiliate link is no longer working. So let me show you what I mean. So if you look at the affiliate tracking in Rewardful, which is what you're about to see now, you will see here it says this link is no longer active and this was the link. Now I actually used a pretty link, which is this one, which is link.arambukai.com forward slash Podia in the past. And you see that it redirects to this link, which is now broken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on edit this link. And now I'm going to go to impact, grab the URL and I'm going to replace the link right here. There you go. Okay, like so. And then I'm going to click on update my link. And now that link is officially updated. So I can share it or wherever it was shared because this would have been shared on my YouTube channel, or my blogs, things like that. It's going to automatically update. So now if I now do a little test on this link, I can paste it in and you'll notice that the tracking is going to be the impact training, so S, V, J, like that. And that's going to be basically the same one that you see right here. So basically now it actually correctly would have tracked my affiliate link. So you can see here, this part, IRC, IRC clicked ID. This is just means that it's 
uh, allocated to my affiliate tracking. You don't have to worry about any what I, all that means. It simply means that it's now correctly attributing me as the affiliate. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with the domain forwarding. So with the domain forwarding, I'm going to go to pointers and subdomains. And you would notice that right now it's pointing to the website on its own. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to URL standard and I'm going to paste the affiliate link. Now to make my life easier, because I don't want to keep on changing the affiliate link if they change this, I just want to use this link. So around Bukai forward slash dot com forward slash Podia, click on save. And it's just going to forward the forward, basically, which is still going to track back to me. See, it's successfully been updated. That's all good. Now I'm going to do the same thing with Podia Reviews as well. Not just Podia Review. Pointers and subdomains. And again, I'm going to click here on Home, click on URL Standard, paste it in, click on Save. And now it will automatically redirect to around Bukai. Now there's a way to test your redirection to make sure it's all working. And that particular um, software, it's actually a free software online that you can test it out. So what you want to do is you want to grab this uh, podiareviews.com and you want to go to this website, which is wheregoes.com. So now I'm going to type in podiareviews.com, click on trace URL, and then it's going to test where does it actually go. So now it shows that this website goes to this, which is currently incorrect. Now, this link is the old link, okay? And it's actually incorrect. However, because I just did the migration, it didn't change, it's to be expected, right? And that, that could happen. So you might need to wait for a few hours and see, uh, but for right now, it's actually going to the wrong place. So this is why you wanna test it to make sure, okay? And you could see the same thing happens here. So this is a good time to just kind of wait, give it a few hours and come back and test it again. Okay, so I waited for a few minutes and now it looks like the redirect is all working just fine. So that's all good and that's how you test it. So go to wheregoes.com and test your redirect once you've actually done it. So that's about it. Hope you guys found this little tutorial on how to forward your domain name to a specific link. In this case, it's an affiliate link.